How's it going? John Darkrobes here, and I want to talk to you about rewiring. Um, basically, rewiring is a thing that you can do where you have two sequencers running at the same time, and you can route the audio from one sequencer out into various channels in another. And in this situation, I've got um, Ableton Live running audio through rewire into channels in Logic, and it sounds a bit like this. <laughs> Uh, basically in all these different channels I got going on over here over on the very right hand side of my mixer I have a bunch of channels from Ableton Live um, I've got a kick drum I'm soloing it now I've got a snare it's really a clap um, and then a percussive channel so I've basically got a whole bunch of uh, drum sounds coming from Ableton Live I'm just gonna solo these go over to Ableton Live you can see there's various MIDI patterns going on here. Uh, and, you know, for example, this uh, kind of drum pattern I have going on, I've set up these channels that are effectively rooting the audio from the drum pattern, or the drum rack in this case, uh, this drum rack here, into various different channels in um, Logic. Uh, and basically, I'm going to show you briefly how you can set up channels in Logic to receive audio from Ableton Live. So the very first thing you need to know about um, about rewiring is that it's important the order that you open your applications in. So I'm going to close both Logic and Reason, uh, sorry not Reason, Ableton Live. I used to do this with Reason a long time ago. I don't use Reason anymore but you can also do this with Reason. You could have Reason rewired into Logic. You could have Reason rewired into Ableton. I could have Logic rewired into Ableton, I think, but I've never done it that way. I always use Logic as the front end. So now that all the applications are closed, I'm going to do the very first thing that you have to do when you want to rewire one application into another, and that is open your rewire master application first. So here I am opening Logic Pro, and I'm going to hold down the Option key while the splash screen loads. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want Logic to open up the last project that I was just working on. I want to be able to open up a totally new project so I can show you how to uh, create tracks in Logic that will receive um, audio through rewiring. So I'm going File, New, under the Produce category, Empty Project and we're just going to create one audio track. It doesn't matter. That's not the track that we're going to be using for rewiring. Okay, now that Logic is opened, I'm going to open Ableton Live. And as you'll see, when the splash screen comes up, it says running as rewire slave. That's how you know that you are, you, you know, you've got uh, Ableton Live as the slave and Logic is the master. Okay, so for now I'm going to delete these MIDI channels and I'm going to create two more audio channels. We have four audio channels in Ableton Live. And I'm going to go back over to Logic Pro. And with Command 2 I'm going to open up the mixer. Just maximize that. And I'm going to create four auxiliary channel strips. Auxiliary channel strips are the type of channel strips that you need to root, um, to rewire audio from a rewire slave into logic. So I'm going to click on that and we're going to make four stereo uh, rewire, uh, auxiliary channels and uh, for the input, this is the important part, you need to choose Ableton Live because Ableton Live is open and logic knows this uh, and we choose rewire mix left and right as the, as the channel and with the ascending button turned on that means that these four channels are going to be created with each next pair as uh, e e the next pair set as each uh, next input. God, I didn't say that very well at all, but you get the idea. So auxiliary one has mix left and right. Auxiliary two has three and four. Auxiliary three has five and six. Auxiliary four has seven and eight. You can also create mono channels that only have one of those channels. Um, if you, you know, for example, your kick drum and your snare, maybe you don't need them in, in uh, stereo or some other sounds, maybe a, a, you know, a sub bass noise, just want to run it in mono, you can run mono channels as well. But I've run stereo channels. Let's hop back over to Ableton Live and I'm going to just throw in four different um, sounds into each of these 
uh, audio tracks. So in my user library, under samples, drums, loops, drum addict, I'm just going to throw in some breaks. Amen. Everyone knows what that sounds like. I'm just chucking whatever in. I'm not even bothering to look what they are. Uh, and I'm going to go back over to Logic Pro. And the next thing we're going to do is in the mixer page, I'm going to select these four auxiliary channels that we just created, and I'm going to right click on them and choose a create, select, arrange track. And what this will do, I'm going to close the window, is it will put those four channels that I selected in my mixer into the arrangement. And I'm going to delete this audio channel because I don't need it. So here we have four auxiliary channels, each one of them with a distinct rewire input set as their input. And for now, I'm going to solo the first channel. And we're going to go back over to Ableton Live, and I'm going to hit pull. No, before I hit play, the next thing we need to do is we need to instruct these uh, channels which outputs to go to. We need to tell these channels to be uh, rewire channels. So the way you do that is to toggle the in out um, section. And you can do that by clicking on that little button, or I'd like to use the shortcut command option I toggles your in and out. And here we can choose where we want each of these audio channels to be sending its audio to. And in this case, you change audio to to rewire out. And then in the second box, you have your various options of which channels, which rewire channels you want to send to. And as you can see, there are a lot of options, 64 channels, in fact. Uh, and actually below the stereo pairings you see here are the mono options if you wish to send to mono. So you have a, a, a total of 64 channels um, to send rewire audio to. So in the next um, audio channel, rewire to 3 and 4. Next channel, rewire out 5 and 6. Next channel, rewire out seven and eight. So now we have these four different audio channels sending to four different pairs of rewire channels. Now over here in Logic, as you can see, I have the first auxiliary channel soloed, and I'm gonna play this entire scene. And as you can, t as you can hear, we're only hearing one drum break, which is feeding into auxiliary one. If I go to auxiliary two and hold option and click on the solo button, it's going to move over to the uh, second audio auxiliary channel. So now we're listening to the Amen break. Uh, auxiliary three, another another classic break, and so on. And I can solo them all. And it'll just be a big bloody mess. But you got the idea. So that is basically it's as simple as that. You create auxiliary channels. You, you select the rewire channels that you wish to apply as the input for that channel, and then you are able to route the output of that channel in exactly the same way that you could route the output of any audio or audio instrument channel in Logic. And then over in Ableton Live, you toggle the in and out section and select rewire out and which rewire channel you wish to send the audio out to, and it is as simple as that. So, um, I hope uh, you give rewiring a go. It's very, very useful. Sometimes you can really sort of get the best of both worlds by using two sequencers simultaneously. So um, have fun with it.